Hello everyone. I noticed while reviewing the actions available in our Natural Language Processing API connector that there were a few actions missing, which might be useful if you're looking to incorporate more NLP functions into your flows. While we get to work on updating this on our end, I thought it would be a good opportunity to demonstrate how you can easily create your own custom Cloudmersive connectors to fill those gaps with fully fleshed out API actions. Like most things in Power Automate, the process of creating a custom connector is thankfully pretty simple. Starting from the Power Automate homepage, we can begin the process by clicking on the Data tab on the left-hand side of the page and selecting the Custom Connectors option below that. Once we do so, we'll end up on the Custom Connector page. From here, we can click on the drop-down in the top right corner labeled New Custom Connector. Within that drop-down, we'll have the option to create our new connector in one of a few different ways. The way we're going to create our custom Cloudmersive connector is by selecting the Import and Open API from URL option. Once we do that, we'll get a pop-up window that asks us to name our connector and paste in the URL for the Open API. Naturally, our next step is to grab the URL for the NLP Open API, and the way we're going to do that is by heading to the Cloudmersive website. Let's visit cloudmersive.com, and once we get there, let's click on the search button and then type Open API. This query will bring up a lot of results, and the most complete list of Open API URLs can be found by clicking on the Getting Started with Cloudmersive and Postman documentation page. Once we follow that link, we'll first encounter documentation specifying how to import Open APIs into Postman. For our purposes in Power Automate, we can ignore all of that extra information. Let's scroll down until we find a list of URLs which correspond to different Cloudmersive Open API endpoints. About halfway down on this list, we'll find the URL for our NLP Open API specification. Let's highlight this link copy it to our clipboard, and then head back to Power Automate, where our custom connector box is waiting to have details filled in. Once we're back in Power Automate, let's go ahead and paste the URL into the correct field. We can then name our connector something like Cloudmersive NLP API Expanded, just so we remember why we're using this version in the first place. Once we're done, let's confirm and click Import. Once we've taken care of those steps, we'll find ourselves in the Custom Connector Definition page. The first step is to confirm general information, and as you can see, most of this information is already filled in. A description should be automatically included, the HTTPS scheme should already be selected, and the host URL should appear as api.cloudmersive.com. If we want to, we can upload a custom image to go along with our connector at the top, but I'm going to ignore that for now and go with the generic Power Automate connector image. Once we're done on this page, let's click on the security arrow at the bottom to head to the next step. On this next page, we're just tasked with choosing the authentication type, and like the previous page, we shouldn't have to fill in anything here. The authentication type should be API key, and the parameter label and name can stay at their default values. Once we're done here, let's click on the arrow next to definition and jump to the next step. The definition page is where we can determine which operations our users can perform using this API. Most of the important general information should already be filled in up top, including the summary, description, and operation ID of whichever connector action is currently selected on the left-hand side. The request parameters should include the exact same request URL we began with. When we're ready, we can click on the code preview arrow and head to the next page. This next page we're on is an optional step in the connector creation process, as you can see from the description provided on the left-hand side. Reading from the documentation available, custom code transforms request and response payloads beyond the scope of policy templates. I recommend leaving this page blank, 
But if you envision different ways to transform payloads, feel free to implement your own code in the text editor on the right-hand side. At this point, let's navigate to the top right and click on Create Connector. After the connector saves successfully, we can jump to the test page. In order to test our new connector, our first step is to add a new connection. When we click on the Add Connection button, we'll end up on a page which asks us for the API key, which is the security method we specified early on. If you don't currently have a Cloudmersive API key, you'll need to head to the Cloudmersive website and register a free account to get one. Doing so will provide you with a free tier API key, which is the same tier of API key that I have. This allows up to 800 API calls per month with no additional commitments. Once you copy your API key into this field, click Create Connection and wait for that to finish. When we head back to the Connector Configuration tab, we should see our selected connection come up with a timestamp for the operation we just completed. Below that, we can now test any NLP connector action we want by selecting it on the left-hand side and adding text into the input request fields as directed by each iteration. Let's run a quick test to make sure all these instructions amount to a functional custom connector. I'm using the Sentiment Analysis Connector, which is first on the list, so I'm typing a simple sentence into that field. Once I finish writing, I'm clicking Test Operation and waiting for my results. After a few seconds, I've received a valid response from the NLP API. For this particular action, I have a JSON displaying the sentiment analysis classification and score results for the sentence I chose to analyze. Now that we've successfully tested our connector, we can close out the custom connector page by clicking the X button in the upper right corner of the page here. To access our custom connector, all we need to do is click New Step when we're on the Flow Diagram page and then click on Custom, which is located between Premium and My Clipboard under the Search field. Within this tab, We'll find this and any other custom connectors we implement, and we can click on our newest custom connector to ensure all the right actions are available along with it. As you can see, my connector is displaying a full list of actions, and I can now access certain NLP connector actions, such as a French to English translation service, which aren't currently available on the regular Cloudmersive NLP connector. At this point, you can feel free to test your connection again by running a flow, but as long as your test worked on the connector creation page, you should feel confident that everything will work smoothly on this page too. With our demonstration complete, we've reached the end of this video. As always, I hope this was helpful and provided a relevant solution to your needs. You can use this process to implement any custom connector with URLs available for the OpenAPI specification. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact a member of our sales or support teams. As always, I'll include a link for you in the description below.